Look at what we got the first few days of March today. We made it to 69, well above the average high of 59. We'll stay mild and in the 60s Tuesday and Wednesday. Cold front Tuesday into Wednesday will cool us off a bit as we head into Thursday and Friday. And like we've done all winter long, anytime it gets warm around here, we've got rain. So let's check in on the radar while most of us are dry. There are a couple showers passing through down there in Moore County. So you guys in Pinehurst and Southern Pines, Robbins, getting a little bit of rain. But there is more to come overnight. It's not going to be a washout, anything like that. But there will be some more scattered showers sliding in overnight. Our rain chances 20, maybe 30 percent. And with a warm day, you can expect a fairly mild night. And temperatures really still very comfortable. It was breezy today, and that grabbed everyone's attention. You can't focus as much on the temperatures when it's as windy as it was. But I mean, we're still in the 60s. And as we go hour by hour to tonight, I mean, notice only down to 61 at 8. Falling into the upper 50s late tonight with breezy conditions. And then we're down to around 52 tomorrow morning. That's 10 degrees warmer than the 40s we had this morning. As for our rain chances, again, we'll bump them up a little early tonight. We'll get some dry weather late this evening. And then we'll bump up the rain chances just a little bit overnight. But again, nothing significant, nothing severe, nothing all that heavy, nothing that's going to last a long time. But what we have is we've got a cold front back in the Midwest. That's what's going to be here later this week, Tuesday into Wednesday for us, with the cooler temperatures later in the week. But ahead of it, we've got a lot of warm, moist air coming out of the south. And so that's why we've got 60s, and that's why we've got decent rain chances, especially tomorrow. Now, tomorrow's election day. We don't expect it to be a washout. It's not going to be cold. So the weather shouldn't hamper any voting activities. But let's kind of walk through together what we expect to happen. So in the morning time, most of us are dry. Some small rain chances, especially south of the Triangle. We might see a few peaks of sunshine tomorrow. But overall, it's a mostly cloudy day. Here comes a little bit more rain about 10 a.m. through the lunchtime hour. And then after lunch, we've got another batch of rain. This is when most of it will come. In the middle of the afternoon, you can see here we are at 3 o'clock, light to moderate showers moving through. Even through the evening commute, good chances of rain. And then most of that rain is out of here by 8 and 9 o'clock tomorrow. So while most of us are dry in the morning and most of us are dry late in the evening, we'll have good rain chances for the afternoon hours. And then we get into Wednesday, morning time starts dry and cloudy. And then we got some sunshine as we head into Wednesday afternoon. Wednesday's just got a very, very small chance of rain. But listen, I'm not using the term coldest air of the season. I mentioned that earlier. Here's the proof. This morning you walked outside, it was 41 degrees. Look what we've got the next few mornings. Low 50s, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday morning. Remember, our coldest temperature so far this winter, all the way back to November, December, January, February, 22. Nothing close to that on the extended forecast. But we do have 60s Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. The good rain chances come Tuesday again in the afternoon tomorrow. Another decent chance of rain on Thursday. Then we actually get some dry time. Friday, our lower chances of rain. And then we'll keep it generally dry Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And as we look at the exclusive 10-day forecast, it's only small rain chances next Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But guys, highs, 50s and 60s on the entire 10-day forecast. Mm. And as my obligation and duty to you as the chief meteorologist here at CBS 17, first of 400 reminders that we turn our clocks ahead. <laughs> All right. This weekend. Spring forward this weekend.